What's going on guys? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog and today we are going to be milling up some lumber on the Norwood HG36. Uh, man, this thing is a beast. If you guys have been following some of uh, my videos or Dutch's videos, you guys have been seeing we've been working on this thing, putting it together. We've been actually uh, milling some lumber and uh, we actually just got done. I'm just now doing the intro to the video. But we just made some more lumber with this white oak and over here we got some uh, red oak. But I'm going to show you guys the process of that uh, pretty much. You guys won't have to listen to me talking and all that all day. I'm just going to set the camera up and let you guys watch us mill some lumber from start to finish from a log to lumber. And uh, finally I can bypass Lowe's. I can uh, do away with Lowe's as far as the lumber. Dutch is the same way. I mean if there's anything special we need like treated lumber or plywood of course we'd have to use them but this is a way to uh i want to say uh we're one up on lowe's now you guys see i make videos about walmart and lowe's every once in a while some people uh some people don't like them most of the people are like wow i had no idea that was the thing i made the uh, videos about lowe's on the freezers about the lumber shortages the prices the paint at walmart and stuff like that so uh yeah this is awesome hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you guys are not subscribed to our channel check us out subscribe go check out my buddy dutch at keeping it dutch subscribe to him it is his sawmill but we're having a lot of fun with this we uh actually got it tweaked today we got it all lined up got everything leveled figured out how all the stops and we had a couple things on backwards which you know we knew that was going to be the case kind of use it and learn from it and uh, a lot of you guys helped us out and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about all that at the end of this video but thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoy this video if you're not subscribed Subscribe, leave a comment. Crooked now. There you go. We got it, Kevin. You got your little level still? You said this was too high, didn't you? Your just fell off, but I undid mine. Yeah, yours is probably both of them need to come down a little bit. Pretty good, ain't it? Pretty good, ain't it? You ain't gonna be perfect every time the thing. Do we need to bring these down some though? I'll go ahead and raise it up and make the first off. cut. See, I ain't moving my truck.
that back up. I think you're clear now. I just dropped that metal thing. Yeah, you're good now. You good? Back to the truck. I'll put them in this tractor. I'll have the three feet to have what I have playing. Do what? Bone? Yeah. No, that's a pretty piece of oak with the have a plane. Is. water on there and uh, showed you guys what it looked like so it's hard to see this is the white oak here and the log we did the other day was a red oak I don't know if you guys can see the difference this one has more white and red and that one's more brown and white so what do you think that's I think it's awesome I think you're gonna put Lowe's out of business <laughs> for reals I think that's what the title of this video is gonna be because I finally uh, got one up on Lowe's. Lowe's thought they had you figured out, but I think you got them now. Yeah, I'll look up, I'll try to do some research and look up the prices of what the same amount of uh, similar size dimensional lumber would cost if I just had to go buy it. But this sawmill's working great. We did a lot of work before we started cutting today. We didn't really show that on video, but. My father-in-law read <clears> the book like set, literally like seven <laughs> times. And if Norwood wants to contact us <laughs> six, six times, times. He said, he he is for hire he said so yeah so no norwood uh hit up dutch if you need his father-in-law's <laughs> number he can uh consultant consultant work he can do mobile work on the from side home. from home so <laughs> <laughs> no anyways uh i don't know what do you think it turned out good i think, it turned out amazing. I, think we, I think we got it dialed in almost perfect got one more thing to work on yeah that dust out of your face well not that those uh stoppers 
The, oh yeah, that's been a pain in the butt. If you guys seen those silver stops on the back side, once they start cutting, you think you got them tight, but the vibration just knocks them loose and they fall down. And that's that's what keeps the log from moving on the back side. The the blade actually goes against the uh, stoppers on the Pushes side, it. but on the back side, they just kind of fall. We had several people leave comments in my video that I posted. Um, so if you guys are familiar, a lot of y'all will do this stuff. Leave us some more comments if we're doing yeah. something wrong. We're learning this. Yeah, you guys caught, uh, we actually had the stoppers put on backwards. And they caught that real quick. And you guys caught that, and I we got that fixed it. first thing. Thank you, yes, thank you. So, so anything uh, else, please leave us comments. Uh, and Oh, address the stacking, why you haven't got the space. Oh yeah, so guys, I'm not, Normally, if you're going to use this for like siding or anything, you're drying it out, you'll kind of let it dry or you'll run it through a kiln dryer. But I'm not too worried about this if it's wet. I just don't want it to dry and be crooked. That's why I kind of just got it stacked right here. But I plan on using it really quick. And, uh, dry, it's kind of hard to get through. So I'm going in the goat barn and speed bump. And yes, as it dries, it will. Maybe one day we can get some shorter logs and stuff and make some lumber, make a new table. Or oh, something. absolutely. This wood looks amazing today. This uh, sawmill opens up a lot of opportunity for videos and just doing all kinds of work around our places. So be looking forward to... You know to what we're going to be doing? Both of us can be building us a smokehouse eventually. Yeah, I'd like to. For sure. It's going to yeah. be awesome. Yep. So, all right. I guess we're going to get off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know these videos are a little bit different. And... Uh, I don't know, you don't have a video coming out on the sawmill probably before this one. No, yet, yeah, but uh, for me. stay tuned for Dutch's channel because he'll have videos coming out as well. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave us some tips down below in the comments and uh, tell us what you guys want to see next. We'll try to make it happen. See you later.